Yeah, here we go. Hi, everyone. I'm Julie Baldino. I'm the owner and managing broker at Frontor Realty. Sorry, we're a few minutes late. We had some technical difficulties. I'm here today with Courtney Roth from Home Warranty of America, and we're going to be discussing the benefits and um, answering questions about home warranties. So I will let you go ahead and start, Courtney. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for having me. Like Julie said, my name is Courtney Roth and I am the business development specialist for the Northwest region. I have been in this position for a little over three years. And with this role, I am entirely remote, which is a positive for my agents. I am always available throughout the workday. And I'm going to talk a little bit about our warranty. And I like to explain it as peach, plumbing, electric, appliances, cooling, and heating. Pretty easy to remember. Um, a home warranty helps limit out-of-pocket expenses to unexpected breakdowns and covers major systems and appliances inside the main foundation of the home and covers mechanical breakdown due to normal wear and tear. HWA is the only national 13 month home warranty company. We have no age restrictions on the home or appliances. We cover unknown pre existing conditions and we have no waiting period to file a claim. HWA vendors use new, not refurbished parts when replacing. And our parent company, Direct Energy, is a top 10 national energy company. And they have just invested $4 million into HWA. And so that means more money for claims. But what really sets us apart is working with me. Your home warranty rep is essential. And I pride myself on the level of customer service. I provide my agents and their clients. Oh, am I lagging? Just a little bit, it's all right. Sorry about that, it's really rainy here. Um, <laughs> HWA has three plan types, gold, platinum, and diamond. Diamond is our most comprehensive plan and diamonds are a girl's best friend, obviously. We offer re-key services for all plans and that is six locks and four keys, including deadbolts. We have no cap on refrigerant and we are always offering a military discount. And we also have free limited sellers coverage. That is a limited coverage during the listing period and HWA will pay up to $1,500 during that time. I explain it as the continental breakfast. So the true value is when it's transferred to buyer's coverage and that's when your clients are receiving the benefits of the full buffet. And we have an aggregate cap amount of $15,000 during the buyer's contract period. Um, with that investment from Direct Energy, we have a concierge department where you as agents can call this line and get one of our 22 supervisors and often resolve your issue right on the spot, which has been a huge game changer. And another game changer right now, our wait time is one second for our main claims department. They have fully stocked that department and they are ready to help you with whatever they can. Um, we follow up with you as agents once a claim has been paid out. And just this week, we saved homeowners in Oregon $1,133 on a refrigerator and a homeowner in Washington $1,348 on their heating system and another in Washington, $845 for their plumbing system. HWA has paid out $11,217 for your office alone year to date. I am known to go to bat for my agents and their clients. Every situation is different. So once we get that vendor diagnosis, that's when we communicate with you and your clients if they are to owe any out-of-pocket ex expenses. And that's when I am happy to help step in and alleviate the process. 
I want to make sure that they get that email that, you know, we saved them as much as we possibly could. So we love getting the reports that a warranty claim has been paid oh, for yeah, that's, because it makes them having that warranty so worth it. So for sure. And it's still communicating with you guys as well. So mm -hmm. it's, you know, you guys are still looped in. It's honestly one of the favorite parts of my morning. It's, it makes me happy, you know, that I'm doing something. Yeah. We really like to have them on all of our clients properties. Um, I have a couple of questions for you. Yeah. One is, do you see any value on them in new or newer construction? And can you give me like an example of when they've been valuable on a newer home? So we do offer new construction and it comes into play that 366th day of closing because new construction, they typically have a warranty on all their new appliances. And so it starts on that 366th day. Okay. So, but yes, we, we've had multiple instances where, you know, we've saved them and, um, I got that. My cat, my cat is coming to save. <laughs> saved by the cat. Yeah. Another question I have, and this is a question we get often from clients is what is the difference between home warranty coverage and homeowners insurance? Yeah, so I do get that question a lot and it's just different instances. I had one where they had leaks in the roof and I mean, it was damage all you know, on the walls and everything. And so that would be homeowner's insurance. That would not be home warranty. Home warranty is the appliances within the home not working, not working properly, right? Right. Yeah. Or electrical problems or, yeah. Yes, correct, correct. Um, so that kind of leads into my next question. Um, what do they not cover? What are some of the calls that you get where people are asking for coverage on something and you have to tell them we don't cover that? Yeah, let me think for just a second. Well, roof I know is one of them, correct? Y yes. Yeah. So we do have limited roof, roof coverage, but that's within itself. A lot of roofs, it's, you know, a huge, huge expense. So, um, I had one not too long ago. It was a washer and dryer and I'm trying to think of it, but um, is there, there's an upgrade though, right? To the package where you can add a washer and dryer. Is that correct? Oh, Cause yeah. that was another question I was going to ask you. There's the basic coverage and then you can add other components to that. Correct. Correct. We have a full list of add-ons. So with gold, just as an example, that does not include the washer dryer package, but you can get just the washer um, dryer package as an add-on. And our diamond plan offers orange plus coverage to answer your question before where I blanked. It um, covers unknown improperly matched and or installed systems, I run into that a lot in properly installed. So if you have that diamond coverage compared to platinum or gold, that would be covered. Okay. So it's improperly installed. I, I hate having to inform them that, you know, it's not covered because they don't have that top mm -hmm. coverage plan. One of the other things that I was not only going to ask you about, but just make people aware of is the septic add-on coverage. Yes, yes. And, you know, if you're buying property in a rural area, actually some areas in, I know, Clark County in Washington, there are still suburban areas that are on septic. So correct. tell us a little bit about that yes. septic coverage. Yeah, so we have well pump coverage. We have a septic system slash sewage ejector pump and septic tank pumping. And then we also have external water line and sewer and septic water line. So, so that would cover the line from the house to the street. 
Yeah. Which I have totally had to replace in the last mm -hmm. year. And it was over $3,000. Not fun. Yeah. So that is really popular within Washington and Oregon. They septic coverage alone. Yeah. So yes, I'm glad you added that. Um, and then one of the questions I was going to ask as well is, can you talk to us about the service fees, like for each type of uh, claim that you get? Yeah. So anytime a claim is filed, say it's for the fridge, um, we have a $60 trade call fee across the board. Any plan, it's $60. And that is what is due to the technician at the time that they come to service the home. That's not bad if it ends up being a thousand dollars. And then uh, what about coverage limitations? Are there certain caps on what you'll pay to replace? Yeah, so HVAC, yeah, so HVAC, that's a big one. Our cap is $5,000 for okay. the HVAC system and um, other appliances. It, it, it varies. Okay. But let so, me question on that. If when you say HVAC system, if you need a new furnace, then it's going to cover up to $5,000. Okay. Correct. And if you have a home where you have two units, it will all be under that same cap still. Okay. That's good to know. Yes. And we'll, okay. That's good to know. Um, and then we are often used to adding a home warranty coverage like during a purchase and sale or a real estate transaction, but it's you can add them to an existing home that you own, correct? Yes, 100%. Okay. And so um, if you were to do that, it would not be the same pricing as real estate, but it's just a little bit more expensive. And um, as long as your appliances are maintained by, I, I can't think of the word. <laughs> by like a, a licensed technician. Yes, thank you, <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so if you have like a, you know, 1960s or 1970s house and you know that, you know, things may break in the next five, 10 years or whatever, it's not a bad idea to add that coverage. What is the difference in cost between adding it to an existing home that you own as opposed to doing it doing, during a real estate? Trip? Yeah, so it ranges about $40 more. And our direct-to-consumer department, they are usually doing promotions. And if it's a renewal, that's when they will give you a promotion. So that's obviously not my expertise, so I can't okay. give you an exact dollar amount. But if $40, if it's even anywhere near that amount, it's not a huge difference. Correct. Um, that kind of leads into my next question, which is the renewal cost after the first, yeah. well, not year, because you guys cover for 13 months, but after mm -hmm. your first 13 months, how, how different is the renewal cost from that? Yeah. So that's around the same. It does go up a little bit more, but okay. especially with a renewal, that's when our direct to consumer department will, you know, see that you're an existing co customer and they will give you some kind of promotion. Okay. That's good to know. Um, let's see. I uh, wanted to ask you about seller's coverage. Um, we know that we can add seller's coverage when we list someone's house but I just wanted to give you the opportunity to explain several seller's coverage. Yeah, so say that you have a house that goes on the market tomorrow, you put that seller's coverage on, it's free seller's coverage and $50 if you want that HVAC covered during the listing period. Um, HWA will cover up to $1,500 during that period. And at the time of closing, that's when that $50 is due if you chose it. And then it's transferred to buyer's coverage. And that's when you pick your plan type. And then you are fully covered from then on. I can, speaking from experience, we have had customers that have had to utilize that seller's mm -hmm. coverage where the house goes on the market and a week later, the furnace goes out or the air conditioning breaks or something. So for 
$50, it's worth it to have $1,500 worth of coverage just in case something bad happens. Yes, correct. And then I did want to talk about the rekey services because I know that that is something that differentiates you guys from most companies. Um, it's sixty dollars, correct? And yes. it's up so it's just the trade call fee. Okay, to have your your house rekeyed. And one of the things that I really push when with my clients is to always have your house rekeyed because you don't know who has mm -hmm. copies of the keys of the house you're moving into. So. It's imperative to have the house rekeyed and be able to do that for sixty dollars is it almost pays for your whole entire warranty really yeah, yeah. um and then the other thing i thing i think is great about um hwa is the 13 months of coverage because most are for one year so you get an extra month of of that insurance coverage oh yeah i get calls daily where it's like they can't remember if it's a you know a year or 13 months, they feel like it was 13 months. And so we helped them within the last 30 days of their warranty. Mm -hmm. so that's yeah. Can you give us uh, a couple examples of um, claims that you've gotten that have really kind of saved someone from a huge expense, maybe something like unexpected that you didn't anticipate was going to happen? I mean, I'm sure it happens all the time. Yes, right? it really does. And it's because you're asking me on the spot right now. Of course. And we're live. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, let me think. What, let me ask you this while you're thinking about it. What is kind of the average cost of a claim in our area? Yeah, so I would say between... 200 to 700 dollars okay. really okay and do you yeah. find well i mean really if it's two to i do find that that happens multiple times mm -hmm. those a lot of those smaller claims yeah and it's okay. usually at m multiple systems at once like the, okay. i find that more popular than not they have a you know a stove and a washer just not working at the same time. Mm -hmm. so that's the luck of the draw. And then um, one other question um, about work that hasn't been permitted. When you, you when you get a claim and the technician comes out to fix something and finds that it wasn't permitted, how is that handled? Because that's something we run into often too, like homeowners doing work on their own house and maybe not permitting it or not having it be up to code. Right. So I'm going to be honest and say that I have not dealt with that yet. Okay. Not wood. So if, and if there is work that's not up to code, will they bring it up to code when there's oh, a yes, repair? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. okay. Okay. Cool. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna check to see if we have any questions on the page. And we're gonna leave this recording up for people if they didn't have a chance to view it and they wanna see it later. And I'm gonna invite anybody to go ahead and post questions even after, and I'll tag you in the post yeah, if there no, are questions definitely. that you can answer. And thank you so much. I, for no, thank you. I'm, I'm better not live, I promise that. <laughs> Is anybody great live? Nah. You know. I appreciate you guys having me. And like she said, just tag me and I'm happy to private message you and we can get to know one another. Okay. Thank you so much, Courtney. Thank Have a great you. day. Yeah, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.